Right, President Joe Biden also responds to the abortion drug case, writing today's decision does not change the fact that the fight for reproductive freedom continues, adding the stakes could not be higher for women across America. And while abortion may not be the main topic for world leaders gathered in Italy right now, President Biden still wants the G7 summit to address it. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, a senior administration official tells reporters the president is pushing the G7 for a group statement that includes, quote, women's health and reproductive rights, end quote. We'll keep following that. Meanwhile, the main headline coming out of Italy is the war in Ukraine. President Joe Biden signs a security agreement with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, the U.S. promising to support Ukraine's defense for years to come. Our goal is to strengthen Ukraine's credible defense and deterrence capabilities for the long term. This is an agreement on steps to guarantee sustainable peace, and therefore it benefits everyone in the world because the Russian war against Ukraine is a real, real global threat. Also at the G7 summit in Italy, Biden joined other world leaders to hold Russia accountable for its invasion. The U.S. and European countries agreed to lock down sanctioned Russian assets until Moscow pays Ukraine back for the damage it caused. The deal underpins a new $50 billion loan package. As we gather this morning, Ukraine's forces are in a tough fight. Biden's top defense leaders also keeping up the pressure on Vladimir Putin at a NATO meeting in Brussels, Belgium. The way the Russians have uh, uh, lost uh, personnel, but also lost uh, uh, platforms, um, is, is pretty traumatic uh, from a uh, number standpoint. In addition, G7 leaders also talked about global investment and took time to view a skydiving demonstration. Also tonight, we are awaiting President Biden's meeting with Pope Francis. That'll take place tomorrow, Friday, when the Holy Father attends the G7, discussing the risks and rewards of AI, artificial intelligence. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.